Now let's evaluate the limit as x approaches 9 of 9 minus x over 3 minus the square root of x. The first thing that we can try, of course, is to plug x, or sorry, plug the 9 in for x into the expression. But we can't actually go forward with that in this case because we would have 3 minus the square root of 9. And 3 minus 3, 3 is the square root of 9, of course, will be 0. So we can't plug the 9 straight in. But it's worth it to check it and give it a try. If it were possible, of course, we could just plug it right in. What is the solution? Well, we should rationalize this expression and get rid of the radical down in the denominator. So to do that, I'm just going to multiply the fraction by 3 plus root x over 3 plus root x. And where did this come from? Well, this is the conjugate of 3 minus the square root of x. I hope you guys remember your perfect squares. Remember? x squared minus y squared factors into x plus y times x minus y. x plus y and x minus y are conjugates. So essentially we just switch the signal within in the middle of the binomial. And of course, because we don't want to change this fraction, we're just actually multiplying it by 1. So whatever goes down at the bottom goes up top. Great, so where is this taking us? Well, patience, young one. Now let's multiply top, top, then bottom, bottom. So up top we have 9 minus x times 3 plus root x. And down below, we have 3 minus root x times 3 plus root x. In the next step, I'll expand this. But I won't expand the top. Just leave it as is. Okay, so up here we have the same thing. And yes, we do have to copy the limit as x approaches 9 in every single step of evaluating the limit. Um, okay, so down below, 3 minus root x times 3 plus root x. 3 times 3 is 9. 3, of course, I'm expanding this, right? 3 times the root of x is just 3 root x. Minus root x times 3 is minus 3 root x. And finally, minus square root of x times the square root of x is just minus x. And look at this. These two cancel out. 3 root x minus 3 root x is just 0. So down at the bottom, we end up with 9 minus x. And of course, we did this on purpose. That's why we picked 3 plus root x over 3 plus root x to multiply the fraction. That way we got rid of the radical down at the bottom. Fantastic, isn't it? Wow. So we end up with 9 minus x. At this point, we can actually cancel out the 9 minus x over 9 minus x. And we end up with the limit as x approaches 9 of 3 plus the square root of x. At this point, we can actually plug the 9 in for x. And why is that? Because we no longer have a 0 down at the bottom of a fraction, which made that impossible initially, right? So 3 plus 3, because the square root of 9 is 3, just 6, and this is the limit. That's it. 